Hi, Cheap Air Gunner Cherokee Steve here, Cheap Air Gunner Channel. I uh, just wanted to uh, do a little video. I know DG Outdoors uh, made a nice suggestion about uh, doing something on my indoor shooting range. So I'm down here in my basement. I've got approximately 10, I've got 30 feet from uh, one side to the other. Uh, I do, in the opposite direction, have longer distance. Um, which I may end up utilizing at some point in the future. But for right now, I've got my uh, work table set up at one end, just in front of my uh, pellet shelves. Uh, of course, I've got shooting bags rest uh, pretty much all the time, uh, unless I'm working on something on the table. Uh, this is where you know, the shooting portion of it starts, uh, shooting end of it. I've got my chronograph next in line. Uh, I set it up inside of a little uh, wooden frame I made and I shimmed it. As you can see, I've got a lot of wooden shims in there, but it just keeps it extremely steady. Uh, helps me uh, keep 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 from bumping it and moving it uh, out of uh, position since I know I have it positioned with my shooting bags so that uh, anything I put over it should go over both sensors without any error readings occasionally I still do and I'm assuming that's because of the lighting I don't have the lighting kit for the uh, the light covers themselves. I do have two lights set up above it, which seem to provide the correct amount of light to get a nice uh, shadow over the, uh, the sensors, both front and back. Got plenty of extra nine volt batteries. I've forgotten to turn it off uh, on a couple of occasions. Uh, that's set up approximately three feet in front of my front shooting bag. Uh, probably leaves about uh, two to uh, one and a half feet between the end of a, any given barrel. It depends on what I'm shooting. If I'm shooting a pistol, that's closer to three feet away from the crony. Uh, a rifle, uh, probably uh, closer to two feet from the crony. But then it's just... Uh, open space down across to the actual actual shooting cage uh, this is a series of two by sixes um, two of two two by sixes on each side two two by sixes on top and two two by sixes on the bottom um, and then I have the entire thing stuffed with catalogs. Very thick, very, uh, let me give you an idea. I've got extras. I ask them at work um, whenever they come across some uh, tooling catalogs that are abs obsolete, uh, instead of throwing them away, if they could give them to me. Here's one uh, tooling catalog from MSC. As you can see, it's extremely thick. And I have a series of about three or four of those going from the front of the trap to the back of the trap. I have the sides packed in with some catalogs as well in case uh, a shot goes off and astray. Um, I've been pulling out some some of the bigger slugs. I just recently changed out uh, 
the, the front couple catalogs were getting uh, pretty, pretty uh, shot up and uh, pretty thinned out as far as uh, pages go. So I just recently uh, changed those out. But normally what I'll, uh, I'll do is take, uh, like I said, uh, usually I'll bundle up about four of those catalogs with some duct tape and shove it in there. Um, uh, once, once I missed the trap, um, uh, I was sighting in a scope uh, that had, you know, started off new, being way, 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 way off, and uh, I believe it shot high enough that I missed the trap. But uh, it does have a, you know, I have a con you know, the concrete foundation is what it's going to hit if it does miss. Um, and I believe it was a smaller pellet, 22 caliber, so it really didn't make any type of mark on, on the wall. So uh, I was fortunate that way, but that's the only time I've actually uh, missed. Um, it provides me with a nice little area. Uh, I don't have anything soundproofed, so I do have to be careful when I'm shooting my... Uh, my big bores that it's not, uh, you know, during a, a, a time of the day when it's obviously going to bother other people, uh, family members that are in the house. So I do try to limit my shooting time to uh, when people are out. Um, that can limit, you know, my shooting time greatly, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I do get it, uh, the loud guns are loud. So, uh, but you know, the smaller guns, uh, the 1377, the 2289 Crossman that I have, you know, the pump ups, uh, that's just gonna, you know, offer uh, pretty much any time I want, I can shoot those. So uh, that's a quick look at what I have set up. Um, as far as the trap, uh, it works well. If you have access to something like that, a bunch of old phone books or a bunch of old catalogs, I know those are kind of disappearing uh, as uh, print, anything in print uh, goes out the window and everything's being uh, put on PDF files uh, online. But if you do have access to some catalogs, they, I mean, even for the 45 caliber uh, slugs that I shoot, um, as long as you got enough of them, and four is plenty, um, and you keep an eye on uh, the wear of the catalogs, and kind of move around your uh, your target spot, um, that will help a lot as far as not concentrating so much on one spot over and over and over again. Uh, you do, uh, you know, going to penetrate more and more and more, um, but. It's, if you have access to something like uh, some thick catalogs, some old phone books, uh, bundle them up. Duct tape works great as far as holding them together, I found. And uh, shove them in a nice wooden trap. Uh, you know, if you have the access to uh, uh, metal, that would be even better. Uh, at, at least the, the wood is going to absorb anything. If anything were to penetrate all the way through, which I don't, you know, I'm pretty confident like I said I keep an eye on uh, the wear of the catalogs themselves if anything were for some reason to go through uh, I'd rather have it embedded in some soft material uh, such as wood uh, rather than ricocheting off of something metal of course there's proper ways of making metal traps uh, you, you know that how-to videos on YouTube you could check out but uh, this works for me, and uh, just wanted to give you a quick glimpse at my uh, indoor uh, shooting range. Like I said, it's about 30 feet overall, 10 meters uh, from one side to the other. If I were to go this direction across the basement, I would have a, a longer range, but uh, got, a lot of <laughs> got a lot of stuff stuff down here 
uh, that uh, occupies a lot of space. This was the most open area that I had and uh, offered, you know, as far as a, a work area and shooting area uh, that works out well for me. So that's about it. Uh, hopefully get another video up uh, relatively soon. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work around the house now that uh, summer has come. Uh, you know, I've got a honeydew list that's extremely long and occupies a lot of my time. You might be able to identify with that, but that's about it. You guys take care and shoot safe.